Greetings all, Ben here from East West. Uh, welcome to video three of our Python for Finance for people who don't know anything about Python series. Um, so this is the little program that we wrote last time that just downloaded the data from Yahoo. So let's step uh, a bit further on and let's start moving some of this data around a bit, start to manipulate the data frame. Uh, and I'll just show you some, some simple stuff. So what we've got to do at this stage is um, we'll just make a new program. So if we come up here to uh, Python codes, which is where we had our download data. If we just go file, new Python 3, like that. Okay, now we've got a new blank code. Okay, so if you come back here now, you can see we've got that one. And now we've got untitled, which is blank. So what are we going to do today? Today we're going to look at simply just adding and deleting columns into our data frame. So let's just uh, let's just call this uh, adding and deleting adding and deleting columns. Okay, so we got that there, and then we just come back here so we can see adding and deleting columns, so we know what is going on. Now, just sort of step through if you if you want. I'd suggest you do, but we'll just step through the same process uh, as we did the last time by adding in those headings and potentially the um, YouTube link, which I've just sort of gone ahead and done. Uh, now, now we want to import the libraries. Now, this is just another little uh, helpful hint. Now, you can see up here we've got we've already got at the program that we wrote before we've got that opened here okay so what you can actually do is just highlight this cell um, if you want to do it via the keyboard you hit control C to copy or you can simply um, do the old right click if we come back here now and click in this cell and go control V and that will just simply paste it in. So what you're going to find is get used to using control C and control V because in a lot of coding you are copying and pasting code all the time. So you know the quicker you get to doing that the better. So we are importing Y Finance as YF. Now we need to import a new library and this would be one that you pretty much will import every single time but as 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 the videos step on we'll import more and more stuff. So import Pandas oh, as PD. So that's just another module. Oh, I've just realized I misspelled it. That's something else you'll find. You just do these little misspells that you miss. An error pops up. That's how you find the error. Okay, so we want to import the libraries. So that's been imported. That's fine. Now, we the next step is the same. So we can go back to our code and we want to download the Apple data so we can control C come back to our new code and control V download the data into the data frame uh, actually what I probably should do is data frame one word now we'll let that do its thing it'll take you uh, not as much time as it's taking me oh one thing I did do rather than use DF as the name of the data frame I've just changed it to price. You can change it to anything you want. I just want to demonstrate that, you know, it doesn't have to be DF. It can be price. It can be Apple. It can be whatever you want. It just needs to have a specific name so we know what we're trying to deal with. Okay, so we've downloaded that. And then if we just type in price, it brings up our data frame. Terrific. Now, next, we might just want to clear this up. So I'll round the numbers. And we'll just say price, which is the data frame that we've just created, equals round price two. Run. And then let's just have a look at that to see what that looks like. And there we go. That looks a little bit neater and tidier. Okay, so let's add in a column. Okay, because we we want we want to start getting a bit more information. Now so we'll just add in a column. Uh, and let's just say that uh, what we want to do here is we want to add a column that shows us what the change on the day was, right? Because we want to know how much was Apple up, how much was it down on the day. So 
we start off with the data frame that we've created which is price now we want the square bracket like that and then we want to open an apostrophe you can see how it's gone red there so let's put in change so this basically what we're saying is within this data frame this we want to put in a new column called change and what's going to be the value of that well it will be price okay because that's the data frame dot close okay because what what's the change the change is this close less this close okay so price dot close take away price dot close dot shift open bracket one okay so what we're doing is we're saying we want you to take this close and take away that close okay so we shift back one and the the the, the difference is what will print out in the new column okay so let's just go ahead and run that okay and now let's type in price so we can see what it's done okay so it's come in here and it's gone okay well it's 182 dollars and one cent take away 177 dollars and 57 cents and we know that apple was up four dollars 44 on the day okay so we've added in the column called change now just to demonstrate we might in uh, just add in yet another column so let's add in price change whoop it's gone outside price open that change underscore percent so let's let's add in the the change as percentage okay so it's a little bit inbuilt here so what we've got to do if we want the percent change is we've got to go equals say so, so we're going to put in a new column called percent change and it is going to be price dot close dot pct underscore change open bracket close bracket but you'll notice that you'll only have to hit open bracket and it'll just put a set of brackets in so what this is doing is it's simply telling the program to put in a column called percent change and just use the the percentage change between the close columns as your value all right so now let's hit run Okay, and then we'll hit run again because we've, we're bringing up price, but this time it'll bring up the new column, percent change. So now we have the change in, in our currency and we've got the percentage change. Now, completely up to you, but sometimes I like to do this just to, just to clear it up a bit. You don't have to do this step, but I'll just, I'll just demonstrate because we just want to demonstrate the little bits of technique you use and, and codes you use just to manipulate some of the data around just in these very early stages so let's uh, format the column uh, format the new column How about that so what I would like to see is I want to see and let's just go let's just highlight this copy or control C and paste so what I want this column to actually look like is so we've already assigned the column so it already has a value but we just want to change the way that that value is presented so once again I will just control C that and control V to paste it in times by 100 okay so you see where I'm going with that run run now just for ease you can say okay now we can see it was up two and a half percent today okay it was down one and a one point six percent on this day it was up it was down four point six percent on that day it's just you can see what i'm doing just formatting basis that the decimals and if you wanted to make that even cleaner you could go round I think that should work. Yeah, see now we've just got two. So see, that's just a bit cleaner. 
okay not maybe not as accurate but it's just a bit cleaner anyway that's just how you would do that so let's move on so to finish off let's just say we want to delete columns that we don't potentially want because sometimes you do end up you can end up with these massive data frames and some of the, the the data that's there you may not want so let's just see how we do that so maybe we say price which is the data frame we're using equals price dot drop okay we're going to drop so what we would do here is now open the brackets then we would open square bracket sorry square brackets within that and then I know sometimes this feels a bit convoluted open up the apostrophes so what let's just say we're not really interested in anything other than the close and the change and the percentage change so let's say we're going to drop the open comma and then we're going to drop the high and as we're doing this see how these have got capital letters at the start make sure that these are in capitals because if you don't type in exactly what's in the columns the code won't know what to do so we want to drop the low we want to drop you don't need a space there we want to drop the say we don't want the adjusted close and we don't want the volume because for this we're not interested in that okay so that's what we're telling uh, that's what we're telling it to drop now the next part we need to put in just to finish this off is we need to put in here at this point comma axis equals one now we do that because the codes the zero axis is the col is the rows the one axis is the column so we're basically when we put in axis equals one we're telling the program to drop columns not rows okay so if we just run that cell and now we go price and we hit run there so this is the data frame now as it sits we've just got our close our change and our percent change and we've dropped those columns that we didn't want so this is just some basic manipulation uh, just showing you how to start to move around just copy the codes because you, you'll come back to these very simple codes so we just bet it down soon now uh, just before we finish off you might be thinking well this isn't anything that I couldn't do on Excel like it seems very uh, complicated now I can do this I can do this on Excel and it's be much easier but you'll find at this stage yes that's right but you'll find as we get deeper and deeper in that Python will eventually overtake Excel in its power and you will see that demonstrated as we get further along so that's it for this video and the next one we'll, we'll just keep expanding we'll do some new stuff uh, and we'll keep building our programs thanks for watching see you next time